What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to look at sorting NumPy arrays. Now guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at sorting NumPy arrays, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at sorting NumPy arrays. So you've got an array, it's got a bunch of stuff in it. You want to sort it based on certain numerical values. That's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other NumPy videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file. I'm calling it s.py, short for sort, I guess. And let's just create a quick NumPy array. So let's call this mp1. And this is going to be an mp.array. And let's go, I don't know, 6, 7, 4, 9, 0, 2, and 1. So these are obviously not in any sort of order. They're just sort of mixed and matched inside of there. So if we want to sort this, we can use something called the np.sort function. And then we just pass in mp1. Now, what this will do is this will arrange these. It will sort them in numerical order from low to high, right? So ascending. So, you know, zero is the first one. One is the second one. And in fact, let's just go ahead and print our MP1 so we can see it on the screen. The first one will be the regular array. The second one will be the sorted one. So let's head over to our terminal and let's run Python s.py. And you see here's our original. And here it's been sorted in numerical order from low to high. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's very, very simple to sort items in our NumPy array. So this is numerical, right? So let me comment this out and let's create one that's alphabetical. We haven't spent a lot of time doing alphabetical things in our NumPy arrays. We usually do numbers, but there are times when you need alphabetical data, right? So let's go np.array and let's create another one. And I don't know, let's just use names, John, Tina, I don't know, Aaron with an A. And I don't know, let's go Zed. Is that a name? So here, let's print out NP2. And then let's also sort this guy. So NP dot sort. And again, we're calling NP on here because everything we do with NumPy is NP because we imported NumPy up at the top as NP, right? So here we just pass in again our NP2. Save this, head over here, run this guy again. And you can see here's our original list, John, Tina, Aaron, Zed. Here it's been sorted alphabetically, low to high. So it starts A, B, C, D, all the way down till the end of Z and Z, and just that easy. So comment this out. We can also use Booleans, right? So true and false, right? So let's go MP3, and this is gonna be an MP dot array. <laughs> Very excited. And let's go true. False, false, true, right? So just some Booleans here. And let's print out MP3. And then let's also print out our sorted MP3. So let's go MP.sort, pass in our MP3. Go ahead and save this and run it. And any idea what's going to be first, true or false? Yes? Anybody? Anybody? It's actually false. So this is sorted from false to true. False being like zero, true being like one. Kind of makes sense, you know, so zero would be the start, false would be listed first. So just that easy. Now, I should note here that let's go ahead and comment this out. When we're sorting, we're returning a copy, we're not changing the original at all. So we can come back up here and let's uncomment out our MP1. And in fact, let's just copy this whole thing here. And we're going to return a copy not change the original. So here we could see that by doing this a couple of times here. So we're going to print out the original, then we're going to sort it, then we're going to print out the original again and see if it's changed from the sorting. And like I said, this won't change from the sorting and we'll see that right now. So here's the original 6749. Here we sorted it 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9. And then here we printed it out the original again. Notice these two are the same because the original doesn't get changed when you sort it. Like I said, this is just returning a copy. So keep that in mind. So pretty simple. Now, one more thing I want to show you here. Let's comment this stuff out. We can also do this to, you know, any dimensional type array. So if we have a 2D array, we can go NP4, I guess we are now. And it's going to be NP.array. 
And let's just create a quick two dimensional array. And let's go, I don't know, six, seven, one, nine. And here let's go eight, three, five, zero. So now if we want to print out our NP4, we can. But we also want to then print out the nd.sorted NP4. So this, what this will do is it will sort inside each individual row. So these will be sorted and these will be sorted. These combined are not sorted, just individually in these rows. And we'll see that if we print this out. Let's go ahead and run this guy. And you can see here's the original, 6719. And here it's the sorted 1679. So that's numerical from low to high. Same thing here, 8350. This is sorted 0358 from low to high. And you'll notice it's just sorted inside each individual row. We're not sorting the entire thing, just the individual items in the row. So keep that in mind. That's how that works. So that's how to sort NumPy arrays. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. One of the reasons why we like NumPy so much it has all these built in functions that do the things we want to do relatively easily. And that's cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.